Jonathan! Hi. This is an instructional video that will be very important to your survival. Um, it's actually Tobithin's 14 tips and tricks to surviving the wombat apocalypse and leading a happy life, plus bonus tips, probably. Some people have been confused or wondered, what the heck is a wombat apocalypse? Well, to those people, I would like to tell them it's an apocalypse with wombats. For your convenience, since these tips will be vital to your survival in the future, I will have the shorthand notes provided by someone on this beautimous whiteboard as I speak. Um, and if you would like to learn more about the Wombat Apocalypse, you could buy my book, which I will put down in the description. And also check out my website, also in the description. Um, and now let's get on to those important tips. To determine if the Wombat Apocalypse is actually happening, I've made up a rule that I advise you to use. It is, if Wombats are in the middle of somewhere they're not supposed to be, like, you know, the ocean, your face, your car, your living room, or the San Diego Zoo, it's probably the Wombat Apocalypse. Another sure sign is if on the news you see hordes of wombats and people getting their faces torn off. Step number two, you should go and grab your wombat apocalypse survival kit and any other gear you have. Um, I would like to show you some of the gear and stuff that I have packed that I will bring. I have chosen to bring... This is my survival bag, it's got a few things in it. Um, I have this, which has also got a few, like, survival things in it, um, I have my baseball bat, um, my, oh, my dragon to, you know, survive and save me, I've got my giant inflatable hammer, where did my flamethrower go? Now, this step is to find a survival bunker or other structure that you can hide in and survive. Um, you will need to, ha like, have one that you've already chosen and found so that when you're in the moment and there are lots of wombats chasing you, you can go there and be safe. Um, I would recommend not having it underground or connected to the ground in any way, otherwise the wombats will burrow under or eat it or something. Come through, like, solid stone, rock, whatever you have as the walls, and utterly decimate everything, including you. And so I have a little phrase to help you remember, I, I don't actually know, um, this is a rule to live by, uh, when in doubt, floating, giant floating wombat apocalypse survival bunker. Put that on a t-shirt. Sure, whatever, boss. <laughs> Bye. Well, this is more of a tip, but, like, make sure to ration out all of your rations, your food, water, all that stuff because you will want them to last you for at least three years. You'll be in that bunker for a while. I would recommend eating and keeping well nourished once you get there, but make sure to like, you know, not eat it all at once, otherwise you won't have food and you'll starve to death. Now, this step is very important. What you're going to need to do is you're going to need to like, have trap set up around the perimeter of whatever area you've chosen just in case the wombats can get to your floating thing in the sky that you will be in to survive. Um, I suggest that a lookout duty be posted between you and yourself. This is another very important tip. It's don't lose your head. Keep calm and aware of your surroundings, um, especially if you're on lookout duty against um, while yourself is sleeping. Yeah, that's important. Keep your head, stay calm, stay cool, collected, all those dictionary thesaurus, same raining words, right? Okay, so this type is mostly just a strategy to use if you ever get in a wombat fight or something, or there's a wombat. You know, just a good strategy that I came up with. It's brilliant. So we're going to be using this to represent the wombat, this to represent you, and I don't know what this is, it's just here. So you are going to like be coming out of your bunker for some fresh air maybe? I don't know, but don't leave your bunker. Ever. But if, if you do, then, then this is you coming out. 
And um, this is the wombat. It sneaks up on you and kills you. And the best strategy to do in this situation is die. So you're safe in your bunker. And then the wombat comes up and it's like, ah! And it can't get in. And then you come out to get the wombat, but you also have a flamethrower. And you go like, <laughs> Now, this is um, some tips on how to acquire weaponry and other such things that you don't have in your bunker with you because for some reason you forgot. So um, the thing you're going to need to do, this is how you're supposed to like, enter a store or something to get more like flamethrowers or ammunition or whatever you need to survive in case wombats are gonna get you um and there will be a lot of wombats there so you have to bring your current weapons but you don't worry you'll get even more weapons um once you've done that then bring your weapons and go to a store and you're going to go around the perimeter of the store or whatever make sure there aren't any wombats if there are you're probably gonna die but it, it's fine and then you just go in the store and get the um weapons and you come out and then you go back home okay so the most important item other than like flamethrowers food water that kind of thing what you're going to need to stock up on is hand sanitizer. This thing you won't need any other kind of soap or cleaning water or anything else to clean anything with if you have lots of hand sanitizer. Um, and I recommend that the most important um, thing to, for you to clean is your eyes because you'll need to be able to like keep them wide open and alert at all times and you don't want dirty eyes because they'll not let you be able to do that so um, you're just gonna take it and apply it to your ice cream check into it and you're like ha 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 <laughs> and then you like kill the bomb and you're like because then it explodes and the dragon comes out <laughs> your thing your ice cream check rams itself into the dragon it's like oh I got you because it's a sentient one and then the wombat gets on top of the dragon and starts jumping on his head like ah. And then the dragon eats the wombat. Nom nom nom. And then it eats your nom nom nom. And then it eats your ice cream truck. Nom nom nom. And then it eats itself. Nom nom nom. And then they all have a party in the dragon's stomach and they're like battling. Oh my gosh, are you done? <laughs> so, one thing that I think would really help is to have a long-term survival goal plan thing so you need to remind yourself every single day I'm going to survive and this is how long I'm going to survive and remind yourself like of your goals you have to first make goals so my goal is to survive until t May 13th 2036 that's no 2066 it yeah. doesn't matter just I'll be like 60 okay that's we're done now no no Okay, this step is sadly the most inevitable, important one. Throw a party once you survive! Oh, next step, yeah! Um, okay, so I'm going to teach you how to make wombat repellent. Actually, we need to save the hand sanitizer because it's so important. Um, I, I forgot my what things. Are you, what are you doing? Um, I'm not doing much. You um, have to stare at camera. No. Oh, did, did you get the honey bear made out of flour for me? No. Why didn't you? It's not a normal thing to have. <laughs> so, oh look, there's that. Isn't that so pretty? You're gonna need to pour them in the shoe. Oh no! Oh well. Um, And then pour them in the shoe like so. Like squirt this out on top of your shoe. Get it fresh later in like two years. Yeah, I'm ready. I wanna go like food. Twiz me, and that's how you do it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you would like to check out my website or book, there in the description, probably. And I hope you'll continue to check out Boba Sauce and its videos. Check them out Instagram, subscribe to them on YouTube, all that stuff, and. 
Yeah, Tobin out. Bye.